right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a sensational example of sort of 1850s bookbinding. Um, it is um, heavy um, red leather um, boards with this incredibly sort of ornate um, um, uh, multiple bordered um, uh, uh, f a frame round there and this gorgeous sort of um, complex um, vase of flowers in the centre. The colour is more attractive than here. Uh, the red is a richer deeper um, red uh, than is apparent um, here. The book has had shelf wear as you can see there's scuffing around the sides because the binding is sort of beveled and extremely thick. You can see that the um, covers have sort of bent up slightly simply with the thickness and climate over the years possibly. And you can see the book is extremely ornate in that even the side Sides are stamped with this trellised crisscross design, but beware that the cover does bend and curve like that. Um, but the glorious thing about it is that the binding is, as well as the spine there, which is, is nice as well, the binding is double-sided, so it's not a plain back, as is occasionally the case. Okay, it's scuffed at the corners, but the binding is completely sort of uh, intact, and it's not going to drop off, and there it is, double binding of spectacular quality, a real museum piece of binding, and the book itself is of great charm and interest. It's, it's volume one of a, a sequence of books that was published in the 1850s called The Songs of Scotland, adapted to their, to their appropriate melodies, arranged with piano forte accompaniments by G.F. Graham, uh, T.M. Moody and various other um, authors, um, uh, illustrated with historical, bibliographical, uh, sort of biographical and critical notices by George Farker Graham, published Wood & Co, Edinburgh. And it's a fascinating book. You have um, scholarly notes on various uh, traditional Scottish songs, The Battle of Preston, The Murmur of the Merry Brook, uh, My Ain Dirio, John Anderson, My Joe, uh, etc. You have the text, the music and scholarly and historical and biographical notes in great detail. Never mind the binding. The book itself is sought after. I've just looked it up on the internet. Various antiquarian booksellers. Here are the prices I came up with. £33. This is for a single volume. There are other volumes, but for single volumes in this set, and this is the first, the prices I found are £33, £56, £62, £116, £124, and £145. And that is without the wonderful, they're just plain binding, bindings. My binding is a spectacular 1850s example of the binders are. There we are. And as I say, the red is, it's going slightly sort of bluish here in the camera. The red is actually much richer, more like that. There we are. Thanks so much indeed. Bye.